Okay, everybody. So now we're going to go over installing the 4 liters camshaft synchronizer. Here's my old one. I don't know if you can see this or where. Um, I am changing this out because the bushings in this synchronizer, if you can see very closely, they are blown out. This hasn't gotten bad enough to take out the sensor. Sensor's still fine. But this has to be changed. Now this synchronizer runs off the camshaft and there's splines in here that runs the oil pump through the oil pump drive shaft down to the pan. A OEM synchronizer is about 250 bucks. It's not worth it because this engine if this sensor went out, it, it will still run. It will throw a synchronizer code, but it will still run. So, I'm not going OEM. This sensor I probably will save because it's still good. I bought the alignment tool, but, but because I found this out, the uh, alignment tool comes with a new one. So, if you look... I bought a brand new one, not a reman one, a brand new one, aftermarket one. It's 50 bucks instead of 250 bucks. And that's what I'm doing. I'll put this one in instead of the worn out one and I'll keep the sensor. Now with these synchronizers, you have to realize there are three versions of the synchronizer two three wire version and a single two wire version there are two different versions of the three wire the very very early ones which have a window that's on like 94 pre 94 so 91 to like 94 four liters have the window one three wire um, there is no alignment tool for the window 3 wire and they're kind of annoying to time I've done it once or twice on my Explorer but they're really really annoying especially when the engines in the chassis there's the uh, so there's the second version which is this one the non window 3 wire which goes all the way up from like 95 to 98 on the 4 liters. Um, there is a there is a uh, alignment tool for that. This is for the 98 to 95 synchronizers. I'll put the uh, on your screen. I'll put the uh, part number for OTC for the uh, synchronizer tool for a 3 wire and then the uh, tool for a tool wire because from 99 to the end of the production of 2000 they had a two wire looks exactly like this but there's only two wires in there and it has a different um, pickup under here so the pickups different between the two you can't interchange them because the computers are different for how they do the pickup and there's two different tools for the three wire the late three wire and then the two wire there are two different tools which you'll see on your screen I'll put on the screen but if you look this is the sensor pickup the magnet and then the sensor pickup there's your uh, synchronizer rotor so there's three different versions this being a 98 has the late three wire and this thing is completely wallered out the synchronizer needs to be changed so here is my new one now for putting this synchronizer on you got to understand that you can put this in any old direction 
but you have to put it in thinking where you're going to put it. It's, it's kind of hard to explain because you can, as long as you have the tool, which a new one comes with the tool, so I didn't need to buy that, but whatever. And it makes it so much easier, especially when it's in the vehicle, when you have the tool. Now there is a, you can put the late three wire in a uh, vehicle that has the early windowed three wire. Um, I'm not going to go over that in this video. So if you see, you got the pattern. It will, I think it's this way. There we go. All right. So, yep. So this tool pretty much zeroes the sensor. Goes on there. There's holes that you could put the bolt holes in. So you can do that. I'm not going to because it doesn't make it easier to time this. So as you can see, if you look in there, locks the gear in place, zeroes this out. And how you do this is on the crank here, there's a cut. I'll probably have a better picture of it. So this pin basically is a timing mark on the uh, crank sensor and you want to make sure you're on top dead center number one and it's actually on lobes the uh, bottom side of the lobes on one so it is one not 180 degrees out because you'll throw a cam synchronizer off so I know I am on base circle on the cam for number one here the cut here is lined up and you want to line it up turning the crankshaft clockwise because that is the rotation of the engine then you grab your synchronizer you put the tool in you don't need to use the tool but it makes it so much easier to just don't even listen to the people that say you don't need the tool. Yeah you don't need the tool but it makes it so much easier. Now when you install this you gotta realize now I'm gonna lubricate the, the gear there's two things you have to line up one you have to line up for the oil pump drive shaft that goes in the end of it and two the gear going under the camshaft for the rotation now with the engine zeroed, timed, top dead center one, and with this tool zeroing the uh, camshaft synchronizer, the only thing that matters is the uh, pickup inside on the rotor to the relationship of the synchronizer body. What I mean by that is, is you could put this in any old direction you want and it would be timed, but you have to realize you still need room for it to plug in. So you don't want to be over the top of your tie down bolt and you don't want to be going into the block. So generally this arrow you want it to start going down in and just probably move it right around start here and it will twist down in there and it's in and you see the tool keeps it zeroed you don't need the tool but it makes it so much easier because it zeroes the whole stock it goes twisted in you check your timing mark still zeroed top dead center one tool 
zeroed, top dead center number one. It just makes it so much easier. And then you grab your hold down bolt. Well, tighten it down. Let me grab. Same installation goes for the two wire. Three wire is a little more tricky. The early three wire is a little more tricky. The late three wire is as easy as the two wire. And that's tight. Okay. So, the alignment tool. Zero synchronizer, zero timing mark on the crank, so timed, 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 and we're good. That's all you need this tool for. And you grab your sensor. Now, what you can do, and I have done, and what you do with the early one, is you can get a marker and mark the synchronizer body and where this half moon is when you're on top dead center one on the mark on the crank and then you can rotate the synchronizer body to where you need it and then tighten it down and then you'll zero it but as I said this tool makes it seconds of install so I don't, it's, and if you don't have the tool and you have to resync your old sink, I believe it's like $25, $30. It's not that expensive. Just get it. But you just need to grab either the three wire or the two wire. And as you see, just... Tighten up the sensor bolts. And that's the install. It's very, very simple. You generally want it facing somewhere over here just so you can still plug it in. You can tighten this bolt down and you're away from the head and any sort of obstruction. This, again, this makes it so much easier. The whole body doesn't need to be in the exact same spot. You just need this tool to zero the rotor to the body and then you can get it in there when the uh, crank is zeroed to top dead center. So everything is synced now. Hopefully you can understand that because there's some people out there that know you don't need this tool, it makes it more of a pain in the ass, but no you don't need the tool. But you need to have a general idea where to put this plug just so you can plug it in and it's not intervening with the rest of the things around it. So it doesn't need to be ex in the exact same spot. You just need to zero the rotor to the body when you put it in while it's zeroed on the crank. So they're synced. Hopefully that uh, Hopefully you got that, but it's real simple. As you saw, once you have this, you zeroed it, you just plop it down in there. As you can see, it's real simple. It's in both the oil pump drive, which I'm grabbing right now. It's in both of them. I can't spin it because of uh, it hooked to the... Uh, uh, cam on the cam gear we're all done there so it's synced what I'll do is I'll keep the old sensor and I'm just gonna pitch this blown out synchro with blown out bushings but 
that's the camshaft synchronizer. It's realistically, it's really simple to put in as long as you time the engine correctly on top dead center number one. This is number one. You just zero with the tool that it gives you, or you buy the correct one. You put it on there. It zeroes the rotor to the body, and then you just put it in this way, and it will spin down to generally this area with the connector. So you clear everything, and you can plug it in. Simple. Nothing to it. It's that simple. So hopefully you got some information out of that, and hopefully you can... Uh, quite easily time it. So there you go. You can subscribe more for my crap or not, but hopefully it gives you a general idea how to install it. Really simple as long as you time it.